Hello, hello, hello. This game, we start off in difficulty level two. And what we're going to try to do is find the Easter egg that the developer put into the game and was famously the earliest known video game Easter egg until uh, I think it was 2017 where one earlier Easter egg was found with Atari's 1977 arcade game, Starship One. In that case, there was a message that said, Hi, Ron. For the game's engineer, Ron Miller, which was about two years before this Easter egg, found in a hidden room in 1979's Adventure. I remember playing it as a kid, and realizing that the room that the uh, the one pixel that triggers the ability to see the name of the developer in a hidden room, um, that room would flash uh, in a certain way. So I've kind of forgotten about all that, but I kind of remember the basics. And here I am going to try to... Um, recreate the joy of finding the uh, Easter egg. Um, so, so far, um, I've been able to defeat the Green Dragon, and I am uh, moving around trying to see if I can find um, either the uh, sword again. It looks like the bat took it, or the key to one of the castles. Um, Let's see what that, the, so the bat has the magnet at this time, um, and that pulls objects, I believe one at a time only. So if there's more than one object, it'll only grab one. So now I got the bat. Um, he has the, um, or he had, okay, so he has the magnet, and I'm pulling the magnet out of, I'm pulling the sword out of the room, out of the wall that it was in, um, the dark cave area. So, well, I've lost the bat again, and it looks like he's taken the bridge, which lets you travel through invisible walls. Um, I have the sword. I'm going to take the sword and see if I put it in a safe place. Um, most of the time, I try to either eliminate the dragons or take the items um, to a place where the bat might not find them. So I found the white key. And this is the normal placement on level difficulty two um, for the white key. Um, there are three castles as opposed to two castles in, the, um, in difficulty level one. In difficulty level two, there is the yellow castle that you start off in. There is a um, white castle to the south and a black castle to the north, which is also in difficulty level one. And so we have the key uh, for the White Castle and have opened the White Castle. We have the Yellow Dragon in the White Castle and that has now come out. Um, I'm going to try to take this yellow key and open the Yellow Castle so I have that part of it completed for when we take the chalice after we find the Easter egg. So as you can see, the sneaky bat has taken the magnet and put it inside the walls of the yellow castle. So I don't have a way to get there. Um, so we're going to have to hope that the uh, bat comes by and picks it up again. Or maybe we can use this uh, bridge that lets you get through walls um, to get the magnet. Uh, it looks like I'm, I'm going to try, but it looks like it's being pulled by the magnet. So, yeah, it's not staying in place. And I can't seem to be able to reach it from that corner. Of course, I'm invisible right now because I'm also yellow, same color as the castle. But I'm basically in between the lines of the bridge. I'm just going to leave it in here for now. And I'm going to go see... If um, there's something else I can do down here in the White Castle. Uh, 
the back key is normally in here. Um, so what I probably should have done is taken the bridge with me uh, to secure that black key. But I, um, I'm going to check these rooms real quick. Uh, again, these rooms are to the south on the side of the dark caves, to the, on the right side of the dark caves. I'm going to get the bridge now, and I'm going to see... Or maybe, let's see what's going on here, because that sneaky bat is traveling around, and I don't want him to take my, um, you know, whatever I have held, um, especially if it's, oh, here he is, and he's got a dragon with him, and he let go that dragon, and the dragon is now after me. I believe this may not end well, so what I do is I, I go to the side behind the head of the dragons, <clears throat> and let the dragon position themselves. Oh, but he caught me. See how their mouth is to the left? I'll reset here uh, using the console. And then uh, basically you say game reset all the way to the right. Um, and you're able to continue your game, just basically respawn in the starting position. But everything else is left the same. So as you can see, the green dragon is now alive again. So we're going to have to defeat him again. Um, again, go to the, oh, let's see, if can do this. nope, back in the belly of the dragon, and he's going to spawn with me in this room, so I'm going to have to quickly either go inside, uh, now, let's see if we can find the sword, now we got two dragons, oh, there's a sword, and, oh, back into the belly of the dragon, so, it looks like the bat is either going to take, and he's taking me for a quick trip through his point of view. I'm going to just quickly reset here and see what's going on. Oh, I'm in the mouth of the dragon, but not... Well, now I have been eaten by the dragon, and I'm again seeing a quick uh, point of view of the bat as he travels... Picking up things if he sees them. I'm going to reset. And I'm going to see if the items are here on the left. Huh? Ah, great. I have a sword. Um, and if I don't see a dragon, I will put it here. Oh, there's dragon. The green dragon has been defeated. Um, what next? I know I need to take the black key to the black castle and we have this um bat flying around on the left side maybe i should take the bridge to the white castle and get the black key let's do that and see if the bat doesn't disturb us okay so if you don't know basically um the uh the black key is always on the um, inside the, the maze of the white castle so you can see there where I picked it up you need the bridge to be able to get through the walls because you can't directly access the black key in the white castle without it um, and hopefully if this bat doesn't take away the key I will put it here in the yellow castle take another quick quick peek it looks like he's gone i'm going to try to make a run to the black castle and open it up while i have the key oh can i get away it looks like he's taken the black key and now i am left with the magnet only i can't get into the castle so i'm going to leave this here and try to whoa well back into the belly of the dragon let's reset I saw the got the green dragon here let's see if we can take care of it looks like the green dragon oh here it is defeated okay let's put the sword back so i use the castles as a safe spot um and sometimes in the same way you can use the castles to trap the uh bat um that becomes more important in difficulty level three where you have the same areas, larger area, as you do here. A, the key to the Black Castle. 
um, let's take the magnet in with us. So in difficulty level three, um, you have the same larger area as you do in difficulty level two, except that all the items are randomly placed, um, which brings up a conundrum because apparently um, you can have unsolvable or unfinishable games because sometimes the yellow key will be spawned inside the yellow castle um, in level three. I'm um, not sure if that's the case with level two. Maybe, maybe it is. I'm not sure. Um, looks like the bat got me again. Um, let's reset. And try to see if we can continue where we left off here. The bat was kind of going crazy. All right. Now we can get the uh, bridge. The reason why we need the bridge is because inside the dark caves just like these that are inside the black castle there are there is a pixel that we need to access and it's between walls and um we'll use this room that we just passed that has that dark line on the right side um to access the secret room um for right now we're going to try to get past these freshly spawned dragons and there goes dragon number one defeated um and we're going to try to see what's going on with any dragons on this side so then we can hopefully maybe get the bridge inside the caves looks like nothing's going on here second pass going back and I don't see the bat. So maybe we can take the bridge. Yep, let's try it. So let's see if we can make it to the Black Castle. So far so good. Okay, now this is the part where I don't remember how it was exactly, so I'm going to try some experimental walking through different walls. This one's not letting me go completely through to the other side, it looks like. Let me try to reposition. No, I can't, so let's go somewhere else. Oh, and there is the red dragon with the chalice. These are... Uh, to be expected, that's where on level difficulty 2, where the red dragon is always at. Let's take care of the green dragon. Since the dragons respawned on the reset. And I tend to reposition the sword a little bit so that it faces the dragons rather than me. All right, the green dragon seems to have fled. Let's make a run to the castle. Oh, yellow dragon. Let's see if we can get him. Come here. I have a yellow arrow to show you. There we go. All right, now. Let's see if we can make a run for it. Back through the labyrinth. I figure I might as well have the sword with me because I'm going to see a dragon um, maybe on my way back. But definitely the red dragon is going to be inside the, the dark labyrinth um, that we just encountered and had to respawn. So hopefully I can position this 
this uh, sword so that I get the dragon before it swallows me. Let me try again here. Mm, that didn't work. No, nope, that didn't work. Time to change. App's not working either. Let's try this way. Because it seems like the dragon is... Yep, right below me. Okay, so let's take the chalice. Because this will be the final thing we do um, after we uh, unlock the Easter egg room. Or the hidden room. Um, now I believe, there it is, the um, bridge is here, so let's see if we can find the room with the uh, pixel, the magical pixel. So what I'm looking for here is, as you can see, the room where the dragon is, is blinking, and it's blinking because it's got, it's got the dragon my character square and also the bridge at the same time so if i enter a room where when i'm carrying the bridge or another item and it starts blinking i know there's a third item in that room um, so right now as you can see this room is not blinking so i'm going to aha this room is blinking Therefore, the pixel just may be in this room here somewhere. Um, maybe in maybe in that room below me. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm kind of stuck in the wall. Move this over. Oh, there we go. There is the pixel. So can't really see it but let me see if i can expose it in one of the walls um let's make a run for it and place it in the room just there was the pixel you saw it in the purple wall there it is um we're going to go to the room just south of the yellow castle and then to the right of that room there with this uh, sort of black line on the right side of it. So basically all we have to do is really leave this pixel here because once we bring another item into this room with the magic pixel, it'll blink that line away and give us access to the secret room. So. Now I can't find the pixel that I just placed. I'm hoping to grab it again. Yep. So I'm confirming that the pixel is there, even though we can't see it. I'm going to drop it up here. Oh, I bumped into it again. Drop it again and move around it. All right. I'm going to grab something from inside the castle. The key's just fine. Okay. So you can see that the black line is no longer there. And there we go. There is the Easter egg created by Warren Robinette. And from what I understand, this was done without his Atari boss's knowledge or consent. So we have the Easter egg, and now we can go ahead and bring the golden chalice to the yellow castle. Um, and that will finish the game. So we know where the golden chalice is once we get past this maze. The golden chalice is inside the black castle. Let's grab that. Bring it down to the yellow castle and we should have successfully finished the game. Even though we had quite a number of encounters with dragon bellies. Congratulations, we have returned the chalice to its rightful castle.